Update Sneak Peek 1 brings a new Goblin Builder event where you can have an extra builder in the home village. Yes, seven builders are available and you can also start an extra upgrade within your laboratory. We also have other quality of life changes for the home village and a brand new clan capital district. Being that goblins are the theme of this sneak peek, the new clan capital district is called Goblin Mines and this will be first unlocked once you upgrade to Capital Hall level 9. The district includes a new defense, the Goblin Thrower, which I'm going to explain all about, alongside the Spear Trap. There is also three new buildings, which will be thoroughly explained in tomorrow's sneak peek, so be sure to subscribe in order to see that. The Goblin Mines has a new terrain in order to design your village, in specific the Goblin Mines themselves. Let's explain the Goblin Thrower because this is a unique defense. It goes to a maximum of level 4. You do have to upgrade your Capital Hall to level 10 for levels 3 and 4 and all of these stats for each level is obviously displayed on your screen. But what exactly does it do? Well, the Goblin Thrower targets ground-based troops. It has five goblin barrels. Each barrel has three spear goblins within it. It will deal splash damage to ground-based troops. So you might think I can use air troops in order to snipe this defense off. However, once the defense is destroyed, all five goblin barrels will be activated at the exact same time. So your air troops will then be under heavy fire from all of the spear goblins. Do note that each of the spear goblins will be upgraded in level as well as you are upgrading the defense itself. So the stats are displayed as to what that will be each and every level. This defense has a bit of a twist though, because whilst the spear goblins can attack both ground and air, any surviving spear goblins after the first attack will remain on the map for the second attack as well. However, if the defense itself has thrown all of the goblin barrels, it will not recharge for that next attack. Across the entire raid of this district, it will only have five barrels of three goblins. I believe this could be really useful if it is used in conjunction with other high damage defenses, specifically ones that have a lot of HP. Because whilst the defense itself does not deal too much damage, the spear goblins are really going to cause distraction so that the other major defenses can deal a lot of damage whilst your troops are trying to take down the spear goblins. Also, a word of warning, the spear goblins are not tied to the defense, so once they are thrown onto the map, they will run anywhere in order to track down your troops. The other new defense is a trap, the spear trap. This also has four different levels. Just like the goblin thrower, you will have multiple of these in order to spread around your base. I think it will be interesting to see whether we can use all of these together because they have quite a large trigger radius, 10 tiles to be exact, but it does require eight housing space in order to trigger. So a single Singular Raged Barbarian is not going to activate this. However, a group of sneaky archers would. And I think this is partially what the trap is designed to do. Maybe when you have a heavy defense, you could put these traps close to it. So if someone does get in range and try and take it out with the sneaky archers, these could activate and help take them down. But I could also see them being quite frustrating, just spread across the map and activating at various parts of the attack. Before we move to the home village stuff, there are a couple of other clan capital changes. Base links are coming. Definitely going to be helpful in improving your defenses. The storage cap of capital gold is increased to 35. You're not going to have to, after four or five raid attacks, spend your capital gold so that you keep capping out. The rest are on the screen, but the other noticeable one would be the jump spell being reduced to one housing space. Across to the home village then, we do have the goblin builder event, but we 
we have a change to every informational screen in the game but also we have a video that will showcase exactly what every item does whether it is a defense to your heroes the troops that you're upgrading in the laboratory everything will have a little clip in order to provide a bit of education for players who don't quite know what it is doing i recently did my video trying to fix my rushed base but now clash of clans will give a warning message if you're trying to upgrade your town hall whilst a lot of your buildings aren't at a sufficient level. It does not stop you from upgrading, it just gives people a little bit of a heads up that you might want to upgrade your offensive capabilities before upgrading your town hall. We've always had a builder suggestion at the top of the screen so you can easily see from the home page exactly how long is left in your upgrades. This is also now going to be the case from the laboratory so you can easily see exactly how long is left with each upgrade. And also get suggestions on what you might want to upgrade next. The events tab now has a dedicated button to the bottom left of the screen. This is where any future challenge levels would live, but it's also where you can read about the Goblin Builder event. This is really interesting. I wonder whether they plan to bring this a bit more permanently in the future, or whether it's an event that they will just cycle through. The Goblin Builder will be available from Town Hall 7. If you do have, at the higher levels, auto unlocked and you've got the sixth builder then this can give you a seventh builder however even if you don't have auto if you have five builders you can still use the goblin builder you could not use it if you didn't have all five builders though in the case that you do have all of the builders you can visit the goblin builder it is located over by the trader shop and you will get a little tutorial at first just explaining exactly how you can use this feature but essentially if you pay the goblin a little bit of gems he will act as a builder a couple of things here the resource for the upgrade is still needed but the gems required to hire the goblin builder is purely based on the time of the upgrade so the longer the upgrade the more gems it will be boosts from the gold pass in terms of faster upgrades will apply to the goblin builder but if you do happen to cancel an upgrade then you will be refunded 50% of the resources just as you would in any other cancellation but you would not receive the gems back obviously the event is a limited time one however if the goblin builder is upgrading something when the event runs out that upgrade will continue to finish it's just you can't use the goblin builder after that the goblin reach searcher works exactly the same just in the laboratory if you already have an upgrade researching you can pay gems in order to have two upgrading at the same time exactly the same rules i explained from the goblin builder will take place with the goblin researcher as well we do have a tease for tomorrow's sneak peek you might have guessed it but i am traveling at the moment i actually spoke at a youtube conference just a little bit earlier today but the tease says stay tuned for tomorrow this next sneak peek will shock you literally darian not giving much away in that one if you do want to see my 100 days to fix a rushed base video i have it linked on your screen enjoy the rest of your day